In this video, I want to show you how to use sales invoice reminders in Xero, which will help you get paid quicker and improve your cash flow. But you have to be careful when you're using them. You've got to make sure that your Xero bank reconciliation is up to date. There's no point in sending out sales invoice reminders, reminding a customer to pay you if your bank reconciliation is not up to date because they might actually have paid you and your reminder will be inaccurate. You also want to be polite with the wording that you use in these reminders. Take a bit of time, create the wording that you think is polite and is correct for your customers. Do these things and it will definitely improve your cash flow. Let's head into Xero and I will show you how. Okay, from the dashboard, we choose settings, general settings, invoice settings, and then invoice reminders. Initially, when you go here, this will all be greyed out, which means that invoice reminders are not set up. To set them up, all that we do is tick this box here. Now you need to be careful that invoice reminders work for you. Ticking this box and just leaving everything will mean it's live and the standard warden from Xero will go out at these times. So there's three set up as a default when an invoice is seven days overdue, 14 days and 21. Click on edit and what you have is a template. The template shows how many days overdue will be when it's sent and also there's the default wording. My suggestion would be that you change this default wording. I'm not keen on the zero standard wording. I don't like the phrase, thanks for working with us. And I also don't like this bit here that says, sorry for bothering you. I know what they're trying to say, but I think you should change it, personalize it, give it your own flair, your own wording. Once you're happy with the wording, you can then just click on save and that's your template created. Include a link to the invoice PDF if you want the PDF sent with the reminder. Now you might want to say don't send reminders for trivial amounts so you can put in an amount default as in a pound, pound there. And here's the email address that the replies get to. If we hit save, that's invoice reminders up and running. And that means invoice reminders will now go out to every single customer. So only do that if you're happy with it. If you're not happy with it, and I would say if you want to play around with it to begin with, go to contacts and then customers, and then we can deal with individual customers. If we selected all, we've got an invoice reminders option and we can actually turn it off. Now, what that means is the default has been created, but at this stage, you're not using it for any of your customers. Then what you might want to do is set it up for one or two of your customers to see how it works. So if we select one customer, go to invoice reminders, and then we say, turn them on. You can also go to an individual contact. So back to contacts, all contacts. And let's say we wanted Mr. Blogs, search for blog, select Joe Blogs. And then we can go to options on an individual and we can say turn on invoice reminders. So globally, we know where to set them up in settings and then in contacts, we can deal with individuals. Invoice reminders are great but please be careful about the wording and the timing of when you send them. If your Xero account is not up to date, you will annoy customers if you give them reminders when invoices have actually been paid. So if you're not in the habit of reconciling Xero regularly, then you can actually use invoice reminders. I think they're great, but just use them with caution. Right, another example, what else can we do? If we go to accounts and we go to sales, and if we go to all invoices. In fact, let's go to the awaiting payment. And here we've got Joe Blogs. If we select that invoice, 
we can go to invoice options and turn invoice reminders off or on. So three levels for invoice reminders. Set them up globally, deal with them contact by contact, and then thirdly, you can deal with them invoice by invoice. Now here's another suggestion how I find for some people invoice reminders work. Let's go back to the global setting. So settings, general settings, and invoice settings, and then invoice reminders. We can go to edit. Instead of saying when this is overdue, we can actually put zero days in here. And then we can change the word. So we're saying, hi, just a friendly reminder that our bill is now due for payment. If you've already paid it, please ignore this email and accept our apologies. To view your bill here, you can. If you've got any questions, please let us know. So what you're doing here is you're actually just reminding people politely on the day that their invoice is due. And I found that that can actually give really good results. So if that's a word and we're happy with, we would save it. And then what we would do is we would actually say, we don't want any more reminders. So we can delete them and we can delete them as well. And it's not a problem deleting them because we can then go back and add them. Go back into add them and then again, the zero default wording will appear that you can change. So if you wanted to add back in seven days, you can and save. But like I said, just be careful. You don't want to be sending out invoice reminders by mistake. If invoices have been paid, you will annoy your customers. But when used properly, they can be really good for your credit control and to improve your cash flow. If you found that useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up and why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified of our new videos as and when they appear. Until next time, happy zeroing.